Hello guys, welcome into this new video. In today's tutorial, let's take a look and get we can get started here into Stripe.com to receive payment in a very easy, easy way. Now, uh, Stripe is an alternative bosun if you want to receive the money from card, credit card, uh, debit cards, or you don't have a PayPal account. Stripe is um, something that can be helping us a lot to add that into our website, our, into our online address, or to our blog, or even into your phone if you can send the link so people can just start to pay you right, right away. And depending on the country you're currently living, you might be receiving a debit credit card, a physical card of Stripe, but this is also um, only available for specific uh, regions in the world, so you might want to check that into the Stripe. So once you are into the link that I'm going to leave you guys down below in the description, what you want to do is to go and create your account. So it's going to be really, really simple to start setting up our very first account. And then what we're going to be doing here is to just set it up correctly so we can start receiving money from the very first day. So what I want to do here is to input my email. I want to input my full name, the country where I'm currently living. This is really important. Because if we are like an individual person in or a business, we want to input our legal documents in order to receive money. So it's really, really important to uh, then try to input like just uh, false information. So after that, choose a passcode and go into create your account. In my case, I think that I might need something a little bit more tougher like this one. And you need to create account. And as you can see, my account has been created like just right away, right? This is the very easy part. Now, this is when the fun begins. Now, uh, when you verify your account with your email, I'm going to just verify this real, real quick. I'm going to be sent it uh, right away into the dashboard section. So first of all, I need to fill my business profile to start accepting money payment and any progress you make will be saved so you can always finish up later so if you don't have like all the information about your business profile if you have like everything gathered today you can do that later but if i do want to go into activate payments because i do want to fill as much information as i can so there are four steps that we need to do in order to continue first of all it's going to be asking us about our business location where it's at uh, mexico city and here into type of business what I want to do is to look for the type of business that appears and the different options that appears in here depending on the country that you're currently living. So if I choose business location and I choose United States, take a look into the type of business that uh, changed into individual company, non-profit organization. So depending on the country that you choose, uh, these are going to be appearing different options. So you're going to hit into individual, go into continue, and then it's going to be asking me for the details of my business, such as the legal name, the email address, the date of birth, the home address, the phone number, and the last four digits of my social security number. So this is once again, really, really important in order to receive money because we are dealing with real money here. So you want to be um, as trusted as you can. So fill that, go into continue. And then we do have the information, the description information about our business, like what is the industry that we are currently based, what is our business website and the product description. So if I choose here into industry, I want to look for clothing and accessories. Fortunately, it's appearing myself in here. But if I want to focus into blogs or into something else, you can just look for that. And here you have the business website. So I'm going to tap my website, which that would be this one com and the product description this is a description you have to gather the really really uh, real information after that hit into continue and then we do have the fulfillment details that we need to provide that would be uh, if we ship the product ourselves or if the products are shipped by a third party in my case the products are shipped by a third party so I want to go into no and on the average how long uh, after paying with your con con consumers to receive the good service, I'm going to hit with within two weeks and hit into continue. And lastly, why I do have the public details. I don't want to focus a lot in here. This is just an example. I have the customer phone uh, custom number. I'm going to leave this like that. And here, this is the part when we want to receive our money. This is the part when we want to add our bank information. So 
in, in here, it says add your bank. So what I want to do is to choose the bank that I'm currently using at the moment and where I want to receive the money. Let's go for Chase, hit into continue, and then what's gonna happen is gonna be uh, sending me away where I need to have my Chase account already opened. So what you want to do is to open a new tab, go into Chase and here, if you don't have that, it's gonna be sending you into the connection section of the chase.com bank application. Now this is my case. After that, you have to just secure your account. And then what you want to do is to review your information and finish that. Once you have that successfully done, what you want to do is to add that into your into your account. In my case, I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna go into the X button, just cancel. Just for a second here. Here where it says payments, I do have the payment section and I do have the create a payment link. I can choose create a payment or view the checkout demo. So here, what's gonna be helping me a lot is to add, for example, this element into my website. Let's say, for example, that I have a WordPress website created by WooCommerce and here into plus, I type uh, payments and here into payments, I choose this option and here where it says choose a patent, I do want to focus, let's say for example, that I do love this one. This is how it's gonna be looking my prices. So I think that for me, it fits this one the best. So here is buy now, right? So what I can do is to go back into my WooCommerce account, go into my uh, billing options, and it would be just as easy as to create or add the payment method of my Stripe account. If you don't have an online website, you don't have to worry about that. I can just go back in here. I can go and create a payment link. And this one is gonna be sending me into the custom link uh, of my services. So here, as you can see here is the Stripe account. So you want to go into products or descriptions. Uh, what's the product? What's the name of the product? So let's say that this is a digital planner like this. Add digital planner as a new product. And here you want to input the description. This is an example. Here I want to choose the price. Let's say for example, $3 and this is just one time. If you have an image of your products, you can do that and add that. It's gonna be looking like more professional after that. Here I do have some options, for example, the collect customer's address if you want to collect your customer's address only, or I don't want to enable this, require customers to provide a phone number, I can strongly suggest you to add that. And here to have the advanced options, I can allow the promotion codes, I can save payment detail for the uh, future use, and I do have the button where it says pay, or I can change that for donate, book, or pay. After that, hit into create your link. And just like that, my payment link has been activated. So if I go into copy, I open a new tab and I paste that into a new uh, tab. It's gonna be appearing my custom link where I can receive my money. Now, it's really important guys that you've already made the process that we just did before to add your bank account in order to receive their money. Otherwise, your money might be getting in trouble and it's gonna be holded inside Stripe. So you don't want to miss that part. Really, really important guys. So hopefully guys, this was a pretty useful video for you. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe guys. Have a lot of fun here with Stripe. And thank you once again for watching the video and I'll see you soon.